So last time we saw that the egg had started pipping and Carrie moved that egg back into the nest box and we removed the dummy egg. The chick continued to break through the shell and within the next 24 hours it fully hatched without an aid from its parents. At this point it weighs in at just a mere 20 grams and the chick is extremely vulnerable and relies on its mother for both food and warmth. After hatching, the chick still has a yolk sac in its lower abdomen, which provides nutrients for the first 24 hours. After those nutrients are fully absorbed, it is vital that the parents are constantly feeding and keeping it warm. Without this, unfortunately, a young chick could easily perish. Growth happens fast at this age. When the chick receives regular meals from its parents, it weighs nearly 150 grams after just 10 days. Around day 18, the chick chick weighs in at around 400 to 500 grams. This is the ideal weight where we then will put on a ring on its leg. This does not limit normal function or cause any irritation to the chick. This ring provides an important ID number that links to our database of information of all our birds in our facility and those that have been released into the wild. Until now, the chick has been partially covered in wispy, downy grey feathers. But after a month, the hint of colour starts to appear as the chick's coloured feathers develop. They have a blood supply and can be very fragile. Feathers at this stage are known as pin feathers, but will grow quickly and soon cover the chick. The chick continues to grow at a steady curve, but remains inside of the nest box until it's around 12 weeks old, continuing to rely on its parents' food. Once the chick weighs a little over a kilogram, it is almost fully grown and begins to look outside of the nesting box. After about a week of doing this, it decides to fledge the nest, which is the act of leaving the nest box to explore the aviary with its parents. At this point, it is now fully grown and fully feathered. As the chick grows strong and learns to use its wings, feet and beak, it continues to rely on its parents for up to another three months or maybe even more. It also begins to socialise with other chicks its age, learning everything it needs to prepare for life in the wild.